Hi, I'm John White. I'm one of the partners here at Ciati, and today we're going to talk about some of the things we saw in this Grape Crush report. I was going to make a couple comments on the Mendocino, Napa, Lake, Sonoma, North Coast. In this Crush report, we saw what we expected. Crop was light. We'd heard that. We'd anticipated that. And we really saw this light crop begin back in May and June. We had inclement weather. It was raining during the bloom season and the cluster counts for the vines were down. And now we couple that with some more bad weather during summer. It was very cool summer. And so we had a delayed harvest for a light crop. And then we catch the final coup de gras and that was the rains in October. So a lot of these farmers were caught with rains. And of course they're bringing in some of the red grapes that were harvested later in the season under wet conditions. So made for a challenging year. Now the fruit actually made fairly good wines. With a longer delayed harvest we have nice mature flavors and the reds would have dark colors and full uh, bodied wines were made. So the quality was pretty good. I think the discussion now is the crop level. So we're off by about 13% in the North Coast, and we have a lot of wineries trying to secure their inventory, and the prices are becoming very volatile right now for spot market grapes, for spot market bulk deals. It's very dynamic. Howdy, my name is Chris Welch. I'm a partner here at the Ciotti Company. I'm here to talk to you about the North Coast uh, grape and wine market, and specifically Napa and Sonoma, and just discuss uh, what everybody knows to be true about a short. 2011 vintage and the impact that's having on the marketplace and what sort of uh, dynamic moves certain suppliers and buyers are making in terms of adjusting to the new reality of a shorter market. And in terms of red wines out of the Napa Valley, uh, we've seen some aggressive early buying. Um, and the questions that we're constantly asked is, are these prices sustainable and what does this mean to the uh, relative to the larger economy as a whole? and are people making money uh, selling bottles of wine uh, with cost of goods as high as we're seeing today? And that's a question we're constantly asked and it's an interesting question and we don't, we're trying to figure that out relative to the economy as a whole. So give us a call and we'll help you with all of your sourcing needs.